You gotta roll. Oh, sorry, yeah. Did we start? Oh, no, there we, we go. Now we're starting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Molly, you gonna kill that soon? <laughs> anyway, welcome back to uh, episode 27. First ever 27th episode. I'm a little under the weather, and I almost didn't make it here today. Nope. But you Jeff, came out, and Jeff, you are at yeah, Highland Tower Studios. Yes, I did. In Cedarburg, Wisconsin. That's my line. All right, and we got <laughs> special guests here. Oh, we also got the local legend, Jeff fucking. What Kruger up? What here. up? And I show up when I want. Another you know that. special guest. I've Hi. been waiting for this episode. Hi, Micah Kranz. Hi, Tommy. Mike, Hi. what are you, everybody? Mike, oh. what are you? What have you been doing lately? Man, I don't know how to answer that question. You also didn't know how to answer what is your job <sighs> title. By the yeah, way, it was hard to look you up, dude. <laughs> but there's a lot there at the same time, right? Isn't oh. that kind of a weird? You're not on like Facebook. I oh yeah, I'm you. off social media completely. I've killed my ego 100 well, percent. Like lot for the research, dude. It's Google Player. You don't know use Google. Just type my name in. There's everything you need there. Dude, I told you to Google dude, it. I've been sick. Uh, <laughs> and you, you just came out. If awesome. you could just obey our Lord and oversayer Google for all that it is worth, uh, it'll it'll guide you. He will set you free. All right. There so I go. think the universe just found it. out so... we do all of our prep work in the minutes yeah. before the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel that's the best. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. threw a wrench without social media, huh? There we go. Uh, no, yeah. so the only social media I have is my companies and the things I run. And so, what companies do you got? Um, that's a great way to start, I guess. Um. Great segue, Tom. Yeah. Uh, it starts with my company, Division. I started it our s- junior year of high school in 98. This yep. is our 20th oh, anniversary wow. doing it. Yeah. So uh, it started, I just took my mom's van and uh, I got a ramp from a guy in Chicago for a couple hundred bucks. I'd rent trailers or steal them and we would go. And <laughs> by my senior year of high school, I was doing other shows at other high schools, like skipping my high school to go to like <laughs> Chicago, Illinois to like get kids motivated to graduate. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to do it this year, but... <laughs> But no, it's cool. I, so I started business really early, and uh, it has taken off, and I've just kind of followed the waves so of it's being a early in the action BMX sports game. company. Yeah, it has expanded to promotion of anything, if you want something backflipped over anything or any certain like, – I mean, I have a show now where we flip a four-wheeler, a motorcycle, a snowmobile, 75 feet on the same landing. Like, we're at NASCAR events every weekend Whoa. doing it, and like, yeah, it's insane. We do crazy shows, gnarly stuff. I'm always trying to buy these, like – really really weird ramps that no one finds any value in but me and like i keep my parents house it's just like a graveyard of broken down ramps and stuff but, uh yeah no no one knows it's happening like no one knows that this is here like i've done a really good job of like keeping it a secret but weren't, like weren't you also uh recently just doing stuff with the circus dude i mean not nitro circus but we, like we, a regular we, sta- we started there we started there what's your company so i'm answering that question like it, oh. it blossoms into so much more from there like so it all starts with division like i started doing BMX shows. I had really talented friends. Jeff, you grew up riding bikes with me. Tommy, you were you, you were in the neighborhood shit. and we were building yep. ramps and like yeah. jumping them into grass and cops helping us steal wood and stuff. And like it was always <laughs> really you remember it, right? Yeah. There was I kids. Do remember. We were I'll never forget. We were carrying wooden jacks and Jeff, you were there. We were carrying woods and our baseball coach. Um, was, my name was Tom Klein then. Sorry, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeff Lahuski got used uh, an awful lot yes, on he your did. end. But we would steal wood from all these construction sites and build ramps with them. And like, I think Jeff Wahuski beat me up one time. Yeah, he probably. You know, well, he sorry, was sorry. like ten years older than me though. No, so it wasn't yeah, well, fair. so was I, and I kept you in your yard for for a summer. <laughs> yeah, we're two years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> your sister, I'll never forget her. She, yeah, she didn't like me, but. She had a no, like, she liked you. She had, I used to hit her with sticks, and then she broke my sticks, and I'd cry a lot, but because I, I really <laughs> liked those sticks. <laughs> That's a whole different story, probably in itself. But yeah. to be honest, didn't she babysit you? Oh yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. she, she uh, strummed my first guitar. I think in your house as a young. Strung child. your first. Strummed, guitar. strummed, like, strummed it. Yeah, oh, you I thought strum- she strung it. Now she sells a. Uh, New new cars at, in Madison. Nice. And, yeah. Uh, Wild East Town Honda. She will never remember me, but send my love. Like, hey, she is hi. your friend on Facebook. If you're ever back, <laughs> not on Facebook. anymore. She's not. There's yeah. no. <laughs> you're on Dude, Facebook. I am. It's you guys should try it just for a week. Delete your Facebooks and watch how amazingly positive your we life can't. changes. We're trying to get popular, dude. We. <laughs> That's a good point. You got stuff to promote. Can't. I just delete all of the haters, all of the people that yeah. are negative and just drama. Yeah. Anyone that's just on there for. Drama, yeah. anyone that's just... See, and I like to poke the bear and just stir up more drama. See, I don't want to see that. I want to be there for friends, family, yeah. I, I, I get that, but just it's so much fun to just stuff. poke the fucking bear. Both of those reasons are why I deleted Facebook, because I... Yeah. I hate people that talk shit, but then I love talking shit. So, like, it's a really hard, It's a like, vicious cycle. Yeah, and I gotta... You can't help yourself. So, I was like, forget, I'm just deleting it. I'm done with it. Like, yeah. I don't know. My friends still hit me up. Like, people don't know. I'm like, it, it's... I bounce me out. Like, people don't know, but it really makes life easier. Like, when you get home, people Probably are genuine. Takes, people are awesome. And, like, what do you do when you shit? 
<laughs> You're not Play like, Angry Birds. Play Angry Birds. <laughs> <laughs> Play Angry yeah, Birds. I'm, I'm on a Madden kick. If anybody wants to get beaten, Madden 17 Digital. Look me up. <laughs> Turtle oh, Dick is my name. You can Turtle Dick. Turtle Dick. Turtle yeah, too that's nice. my MC name. If anybody wants to come see me, I'll be playing the Circle B <laughs> for about three weeks. <laughs> I think they'll put Turtle Dick on the mon. They might. They might. Awesome. Uh, it's it's not. It's horrible, but it's good. No. So you went from division expanding to doing circus shows, dude. Yeah. So my company uh, works with Ringling Brother and Barnum and Bailey, R.I.P. So I had mm. eight of my friends doing shows. They lived on a train. Get this. It was the only privately owned train in the country, owned by this guy Kenneth Feld of Feld Entertainment. And Feld Entertainment owns every major actions, every major action show. They own Monster Jam. They own Ringling Brothers, Barnum Bailey. They own Disney on Ice. They own. Supercross, they own all. Of, yeah, I mean, Sorry. I'm with you, man. Disney Let it go, show. man. Sorry. <laughs> what a horrible <laughs> childhood you must have had. <laughs> but yeah, so it expanded into all this really cool stuff, and all my friends lived on a train, and they were. It was wild. So I got to work with Lady Gaga's dance instructor. Nice. Uh, wow. I was doing warm ups. They put me in spandex, leading warm ups in like choreography thing down in Florida, and Lady Gaga's dance was like, "Hey, Mike, I just want you to know." I do consider you a high-end choreographer because the guy that might be a Mexican guys, and then we worked with parkour dudes, and then like Australian chicks shaking hips and stuff, and like it was awesome. It was a cool show, but oh. it was just one of those weird things of like, why am I in the circus? Why like I had to pass <laughs> elephants every day, and they're like, if you could just not make eye contact. But you're not me. totally built for spandex. I mean, <laughs> I like neither to, are me. And I like Jeff. to bring a laugh, you know. So if, if it's <laughs> okay. what it takes, I'm gonna. I got singlets galore, Tommy. If, yeah. if I'd have known I should have worn one over today, we could have made this. Oh, you you were <laughs> in high logic. school and all the way through growing up, you were like a state champion wrestler. Yeah, so yes. I just, I'm not so. scared. Oh, I ain't afraid. I'll throw on that spandex. And we'll... Well, there's, I, I do, that is one of the videos I like is uh, you and Keith Jardine. Yeah, I was doing some promo work for like Harley MMA. and all of a sudden they're like, hey, we need you to, it was two of the wildest things in my life. I worked for, <laughs> I worked for uh, Harley doing promo stuff and they're like, hey, we need you to fight Keith Jardine. And he had just beaten like, uh, the Iceman. So I'm like, there's not a chance. Like, will we, will you let him kick you? I'm like, no. Will you let him kick you with a bag? Yeah. And of course he missed the bag altogether on purpose sure or whatever. That doesn't sound bad at all. And I was doing promo work for AT&T and they're like, hey man, uh, who's the long haired Hawk, right? The AJ Hawk. They're like, hey, yeah. we need AJ Hawk to come tackle you in the middle of your show while you're performing. Is that cool? I'm like, you're going to have this dude that kills people for a living come <laughs> headhunt me from behind while I'm on a microphone. Like, we'll put a mat down. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And we did it. It went really well. And it was, yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> Sounds good. Career's weird, man. This uh-huh. makes no sense. Good luck getting a resume for this. I don't know how you. Well, that's why I was asking, like, what is your actual job title? I don't know. Yeah. I, today I was a copywriter. I pitched two TV shows to like a couple digital things. Uh, I, I'm trying to buy this ramp. So I'm trying to get in like a loan and banking officer. My goal, I'm trying to make $15,000 in 30 days. Seriously, if you let's get see your if own this happens. Sh- if you get I'll your let own you guys show, know I'm just showing up. How it works. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like there. this show. I'm just going to show come, up. Come to, yep. If you guys ever want to come to a Nitro Circus show, I announce them too. There's a bunch oh, yeah. of them all over. Like, I'll get you guys in, take you backstage. It's super rad. That's a whole nother. That would be awesome. That's my little company on steroids. Like, it's what I dreamed of being. And then I got the chance to walk through and they gave me the microphone and here we are. So, I don't know. It's one of those things like, I like, it's wild, wild west, man. You just, you try to make money where you can and what you can and how you do it. And follow yeah, that's kind of what we're and, trying to do now. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it'll happen. Like I, I do listen to this podcast. I drive all the time. Like I listen yeah. to all Jeff's episodes, which, which then opened up to do more. And like, you guys sound great. And, Shout out to oh, the San Francisco you. listeners and all the people. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's sick. It's, you guys got sponsors. Like, yo, that's awesome. Like, that's yeah. incredible from Cedarburg. Like, pe- people in the Midwest just get looked over as flyovers. And that's been me for years. And now that I'm in California and like, no, I'm not in there, but I'm there all the time and like kind of spreading my wings. They're like, is there a lot of guys like you out there? I'm like, some of the hardest working humans are my friends. And like, when it's this cold, you don't understand the perseverance it takes to want to just live. Like, <laughs> to you just not put a bullet in your head every day is strength, man. Like, that's incredible. You put that into like art or like something you enjoy and. Yeah, the world's your oyster, man. Like, we heard that uh, uh, the Midwestern charm is getting uh, very popular around the United States. Anybody in the Midwest, if you are looking for girls, go to Australia. Go. Right. The mid the Midwest accent <laughs> works. I know. Australia. Dude. I know people have gone to Australia from here, and it works great. New Zealand's even better. You strike in, Aus- in Australia, I guarantee New Zealand's a connect for you. Even if you are a busted up looking human, you can connect. 
in New Zealand. Get to New Zealand. I'm going to be in New Zealand in the next two years. Oh, a friend of mine man. wants to get married there. You are good. Just talk as much as you can to as many people. Because, like, you know, in the same way, you sure, kind of flinch sure when someone gives. That. Yeah. Well, she'll yeah. be there too. It's actually oh. her friend who's oh. getting married. Yeah, but like, <laughs> watch when you talk to women and how your wife looks at you. Like, oh wait, this dude is a catch. Like when you're when you're the exotic one, it really puts your perspective. <laughs> yes, I never thought of myself as exotic before. You are. You go over there and you're like, oh, we've never seen one of you before. Like, Susan, watch what this. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. See, and I've had girls from Kentucky tell me I have an accent. <laughs> Right. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What? You say I'm funny. <laughs> I'm just here to Yum. listen to you talk about ripper clubs as much as possible. Can you bring up a bunch of them uh, in casual conversation? Is try it... to try to work a try to work a good strip club story in I mean, any conversation. Kinda, I don't think uh, what episodes happened with you on it where you didn't bring up, oh, we were driving through, we saw a ripper club, we did it, we threw some darts at him, stole a bottle and left. It was great. Did you say throw darts I, at him? Have you never heard of stripper you darts, never played Tommy? Stripper darts? Oh my god. No, I never played darts. All right, you darts. need to rename this episode. So it's called the learning episodes. We're gonna <laughs> gonna learn something. So okay. okay, so you go into a strip club and like there's an art to this whole thing because the first thing you have to do is you have to try to get chapstick because the chances of you having chapstick on you are I carry it with me all the time. Well, you're a weirdo, but well, I strip... have really chapped lips as well. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're missing the point. The conversation starter to a stripper is like, hey, I need to buy your chapstick. And strippers will sell you anything. It's awesome. But you they'll have to be witty you, enough. They'll let you burn them. You can. Oh. <laughs> what right, kind of strippers? Where are you going? Right. Where are you going? <laughs> hey, man. You party. That's what's up. <laughs> I don't know how to party. Tommy dude. gets down. <laughs> so you got to buy chapstick. And they're like, why do you want a chapstick? And you just give me your chapstick. I'll give you $5. And they'll always give you $5 for chapstick. And then you got to be like, honey, I need you to get me $10 in a roll of quarters. How is that even a thing? They'll give you a. Five come bucks for come with me. If there's any single yeah. humans out there that need some fun, I'm going to open a Craigslist strip club like extravaganza. Oh, yeah. Where I just show you a good time. Like I live. pick you up in a bus. We go to a strip club and you have the most fun you've ever had. Every time someone's like, that's oh, good, I've been there one time. I had the idea. worst time. It's like, no, you went with the wrong people <laughs> that don't know how to have fun, that don't know how to play stripper darts. And I, I'm the man that does. I'm <laughs> the man. Didn't I can learn bring. what stripper darts is. All right. Yet. So you have to talk a girl into getting you a roll of 10 quarters and chapstick. And you take roll a dollar. Roll of 10 quarters. Yeah. You take a, do you have yeah, a quarter? Yeah, $10 dollars and quarters. Never do you have, anyone have a quarter on them? Anyone up here have a quarter? No. I have a penny. That'll work. Right. <laughs> okay. So, I'll make that work. So, so, so you take Art a dollar. Just lost a penny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm high rolling today. Cool. Tight. All right. So I, you take I it. will strip for that. That's fine. Dance. Oh, perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. God, <laughs> Jeff. Yes. Bring you in the house. Yes. I'm so glad Jeff's here. So you take the quarter. I only have a penny, so it's going to be a small Local dart. legend, not a big deal. And you put it. He is such a legend. If people don't know Jeff K. Oh, man. Right? And you put it in there, and then you make a little tail on it. All right? Usually a quarter takes up a little more real Serious? estate. Serious? Never done this. But the thing is, you have to have a flat face on this. it, right? You have to have a real flat face. Okay. Oh, just you. Well, even have the face there. That's nice. Yeah, and then you take the chapstick and you put a little bit on it, and then you say, <laughs> "Oh wench, oh wench, I need your tuchus over here." And then the wench brings her butt near you, and then you you try to give her a tail. Give me a little angle on that, would you? And then. Oh, normally it sticks and then they're walking around <laughs> they're walking around with little darts on them and what's funny is they have like a handful of like carmex and dollars and quarters and like i'm laughing really hard she's like trying to wipe it off on her g-string and i feel like everybody wins she gets a dollar 25 and i laugh for days <laughs> days all right plus her butt hmm? uh, chapped up yeah. i prefer to call it moisturized yeah, yeah. <laughs> she has a very moisturized yeah. tuchus it's healthy yeah so that's life how often do you throw 20s at strippers? Smell that 20. <laughs> smell that 20. doesn't smell like stripper. <laughs> it smells like Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees, Bert's bees man. <laughs> oh, that boy. stuff's the shit. I'm yeah, not going to lie. Oh, no, boy. Hawk's getting a little wild. Really the angry. Anyway. Yeah. He doesn't like this conversation. So no. Jeff just gave us a story here. Uh, oh, shit. Conor McGregor. Yeah. What do you do? He fucked up. I heard he got jumped first. I don't know if that's fucked up. He He... He, he threw he, a cart like they yeah they're, like a, a shopping cart no, no one of like those a, uh like a dolly like a truck. okay that like that a hand move, truck like a hand truck yeah you move boxes with he literally threw, threw it through like the passenger window of a fucking bus yeah he, he i heard he got jumped hard. before by the yeah. way they ran well, on the bus so and they wouldn't get off a the guy bus. that he's like tight with and good friends with got into it with the guy that he was supposed to be fighting like tonight or tomorrow night Okay. And uh, he was surrounded by a bunch of their friends and their guys, so he felt outnumbered. Well, Conor hulked McGregor up. hulked up and got yeah. a bunch of guys, and they went bum-rushing these guys, and he just basically told Dana White, he's like, it had to be done. Yep. You know, had to be done. Now you're sitting there with a $50,000 yeah. bail. 
Yeah. Which he can. He actually turned himself in yeah. too because he got to save he, face. He at least, knew. and that's well, he's correctly. a professional athlete. Yeah, he's he's got to he save. No better. He's well, got to save face. Yes. Three yeah. like MMA guys got actually hurt doing this. So there's yeah, there's I, I don't there's assault charges. There's... Workman's comp is being filed for. <laughs> What's gnarly is UFC just got into New York. Yeah. So like that's yeah. why it's a big deal. It's like oh Dana White, they make enough money. Who cares? Well, well yeah, said but he was tossing trash cans and everything yep. before that. But... Well, think because now those those fighters can't fight, so they lost out on money mm-hmm. that they paid for training, uh, purses that they could have won. Dude, and they're all talking. Dollars, about, yeah, they're all dollars, talking about suing McGregor because of it. <laughs> he can afford it. Dude. When you're a hundred million dollar athlete, why do you not have people no, that don't fight your fight for you? I mean, you're encouraged. You're a fucking you have a Irish body badass. Well, yeah, but his body is his living. If he gets into a fight with a bum and. The bum pulls a knife on him or something. All right. I don't know. That could be the end of his fighting career. Yeah. I look at everything as a defense lawyer these days. I think <laughs> okay. it's all staged, all Watch set it. up. That's all hype because UFC isn't nothing. What, what's the best thing Connor ever did was fight that Mayweather. Uh, Mayweather. Mayweather. What's going to beat that? Nothing. So, like, UFC's falling off. I'll be the first to say it. Everything I love okay. is falling off. And I think it's all contrived. <laughs> this is all fake. And it's just another TMZ. I run. guess with you, you think it's like WWE it's meets U- yeah. UFC now? It's the same thing, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's UFC. Let's talk XFL. Trash cans were thrown. Oh, now you, now you want to bust out the XFL. They're bringing back the <laughs> yeah. XFL. Did you know this? Yeah, we yeah. talked about that a couple weeks ago. Oh, brilliant. I love it. That dude, brilliant. anyone willing to put money against the NFL right now? <laughs> oh, yes, this is going to be good. Yeah. I can't wait. I just hope they bring back the jersey that says he hate me. Oh, that's, a, I get, that's still You can still buy those on eBay. I love those. Do you think this is the right time to bring back the XFL, though? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the NFL. Did you see the new the rules for the NFL? The oh, line, the linemen rules? can't go low. So basically, the linemen yeah. have to be sumo wrestlers now. I'm a, like, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, I, I played football up to college you and semi pro and stuff. This target yeah, that you can actually hit. As a lineman, like the game is, you go as low as you can. Like the lowest guy wins, mm-hmm. and then you you what's called routing out. You know, your pigs like routing out, and you get lower and you try to drag the guys ahead. But now they're saying you can't lower your head to people. So now it's going to be literal sumo wrestlers on the line, which will be hilarious. <laughs> like I'm willing, to, I will watch you wreck this perfectly tuned sport all you want, and then it's going to be watching dude drum bellies. It's going to be yeah, awesome. but how Tom, many flags are going to be thrown on every pass play? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, they're ruining their own league, but yeah. it can't exist the way it does now because people are getting hurt, and that makes people sad. Yeah, but linemen aren't getting hurt. Line. Yeah, they are. Well, I'm, it's the I'm, receivers who are getting jacked the up, but people on kickoffs, backers that get ruined because they're getting hit every time, like when runners oh, yeah. go and like. Those dudes take a pound, and yeah, I don't know. I I just think that you can't you can't make it safe. Yeah. It's it's a dangerous league, it's which like, is what makes it awesome. That's why it's exciting. That's why it's awesome. That's, that's why, why people like watch it. NASCAR. That's why I watch UFC. Yeah, we don't watch NASCAR for, for the to see who yeah. finishes first. We see who <laughs> fucking, fucking wrecks in the wall. I've been on such a Dale Earnhardt kick lately these days. <laughs> oh, like Jesus. watching his old videos, and, like his oh. old cars, and oh. dude. The legend. The intimidator. The intimidator. <laughs> I loved him. There's a car in somewhere that someone has painted exactly like the intimidator car and he lives in like Richfield area. He just every, drives it around. Every time I see him, I want to run him off the road and try to buy it, but I don't want to be like, <laughs> why is this guy in a big diesel truck? Driving we got Scott Wimmer that's gonna be on the show coming up. Uh he finished third in the Daytona five hundred. Yeah. And uh Dale Earnhardt was behind him. <laughs> yeah, and he said but what about the he, race? He about shit his pants <laughs> when he saw. Touche. Just imagine you're driving in the Daytona 500 and you see a black three behind you. I'd break check him. You're fucking done. <laughs> you know yeah. you're done because this guy doesn't give a fuck. Man. Yeah, <laughs> things that man did. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. So it was a beautiful thing. That was one of the worst things he said. He was like, "Oh, I'm in third in Daytona 500." But Dale Earnhardt is behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That fucker's coming fast. He rode BMX. Yeah. I'm a fan of anyone that rode BMX, and there's this picture of him riding a BMX bike backwards, and I'm like, Dale's my guy. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson rode BMX, so he's my dude now. Oh, know. yeah? Yeah. He, like, comes out and talks about it. Jimmy Johnson, the... The, the race car driver. Race car driver. Wasn't do he you know another coach? Do you know another Jimmy Johnson? Yeah, Jimmy Johnson, the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, that Jimmy Johnson. Oh, another Jimmy oh, Johnson. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes, of no, course. No, that I guy's a plug. This is awesome. <laughs> okay. He's not a real athlete, <laughs> that Jimmy Johnson. I think he was. I don't. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? You already said I didn't know a Jimmy Johnson, so I, I just <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't... fucking burned you hard on that one. So you question a guy that brings his own beer 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's listen, he's here. To party. Yeah, that's what's up. All right. <laughs> Local legend, I show up when I want, I bring my own beer. I'm just I'm here for the long haul. Man, here I went to, to I went to one uh bombers game years ago. To oh, go Jesus. support my friend Love Jeff. The bombers. You know the story. You know the story, yeah. right? Are you still embarrassed of it? Not at all. Oh, I went to one game and like I know like do you guys remember you guys remember like that all started when we were in high school. We used to go watch the WCHA games uh, and like we just pound nice. on because like we just love starting fights with other high schools and that was a good way <laughs> to get it done because like really the most successful thing to come out of West Bend is that ice like ice hockey team like yeah. against other sports stuff like really I mean this is here and there but so we'd go there and just rage all the time and I went to go Chief Jeff's like hey man I'm in town I want to see you play he's like yeah come on down I don't even know if he knows I was there. But I've never, I've never seen someone get hit harder in my life than what Jeff did to some poor soul on the ice. And like, he was out, he was out and Jeff's like, felt instantly really bad about it. Well, I was freaking out, banging on him, like, Krieger, you did it. That's what's up. And like, Finish him. Yeah. like I talked to him after and Jeff was still bummed. I didn't even go out with him to get a beer. I, like, I, I didn't want to do that to him. And I'm like, yeah, it's hockey. Like, that's the game. That's it. So Which, go, go Bombers, man. By the way, the Bombers, uh. Won. Won the uh, champion, yeah, the yes, GLHL right, championship. Right. Thank you. All right. Go Name Bombers. another Washington County champion. No. It's, the it's Energizers, huge. the girls from dance team out of Hartford, maybe. They're pretty successful, but I think that's about it. Right. Like, Yeah. By the way, that, that picture, were you drinking something out of the trophy? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't yeah. It wasn't Malort. It wasn't Malort. No, it was oh, not Malort. I was God. hoping you were drinking Malort out of the trophy. God, no. No, uh, I was not drinking Malort. But we did stop at a strip club on the way back. <laughs> oh, there's oh, there's oh there it is! Work it in, just this is like working Christmas it to me. In. Everything I wanted this podcast to happen is happening. This yeah, is great. yeah. I just gotta throw darts at these. You ever strippers. stop at a strip club in Peshago and on a Sunday night? I don't go to no. strip clubs, Jeff. So <laughs> Shut up! You, I'm yeah. a very You're straight, very, human very Christian. Wait, got it. We went to a strip club in Peshago. Hey, yeah. Which one was that? Which one what was the name? Northern Lights. Yep, I was there. <laughs> that was the one. <laughs> How many are there in Peshtigo? It was actually <laughs> pretty was. entertaining. It was uh, yeah, there's a like when you walk in, there's a the wall of chalk. I, I literally walked up and asked the broad for some chalk, and I wrote GLHL champs go West Bend Bombers on the fucking wall. Nice. Just owning it. Plus, we that, thought it was going to be like a mom and pop where mom like Trudy's a mom and been, pop stripper joint. Well, yeah. you ever <laughs> have you ever been to Trudy's in Plymouth? That's a no. mom and pop place. <laughs> Been kicked out of that shithole too. <laughs> Do they know you on a first name basis? No, Jeff, no. not tonight. No, Jeff, Mister. No, he's got his picture up there. No, we we got booted anymore. out of that strip club and the cops pulled the bus over and it. Whoa! No, that wasn't this one. That was another time in Plymouth. So what did you think about the one in Peshtigo? Peshtigo? It was good. Um, I liked it. How many what? stars do you give it, Jeff? <laughs> four. Yeah, I would go four. I would say for for small town strip clubs, that's a four out of five. Yeah, we were yeah. expecting. Crap. You you were Bad. expecting the the Cheetah Club in Milwaukee, and you got fucking a good strip club, a decent strip club up in yeah. Peshago. Yeah, it was. We weird. were taking bets on how bad it was going to be and how many teeth they were going to have. And... Oh. <laughs> you know, but it wasn't at least like that. It I was will like say this: all fucking sexy women. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. At least the strippers didn't strip. have to pick dollars off the floor and go put them in the jukebox to finish yeah. their set. <laughs> So, Dude, yeah. have you guys ever been to Portland? Any of you? No. All right. Not I'm yet. Not, I'm not Which Portland? Re- Portland, Oregon. Okay. Or Maine. You ever been to Maine? Did you know there's a Portland, Maine? That's <laughs> yes, a, I did. That's, that's, that's why I said wicked wait. impressive on your end. I won my only rap battle in Portland, Maine, but we don't have to go into that story. Uh, rap <laughs> wicked <laughs> impressive. Rap wicked yeah, remember impressive. the wicked retarded. The turtle dick thing? Anyway. <laughs> oh, but no, if you ever go to Portland, Oregon, I can tell you how to get around that place by the strip clubs. There's so many. Wicked retarded. There's tons of them. It's so good. <laughs> Go to Portland. Go to Portland. Okay. Go. Mark, it's, what you drinking over there, buddy? Uh, this is a Negroni. Yeah. But I started it like an hour ago. So. so is that the drink of the week? Well, I was going to save it for the next week, but yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, we still have to do the movie review. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that at some point. We'll do that before the bonus, but after the oh, regular. thank you very yeah. much for that movie review, hey, by the way. I'm talking about it. <laughs> Fucker. The, the... <laughs> <laughs> Did you not watch it? <laughs> no, Micah watched it. Micah recommended it. How many video? How many movies did I suggest to you? You gave me. Three. You gave me three. I You're threw lucky a... the other two weren't available. That's yeah, all I, you have. To I looked throw. for all three. I could only find the one. Oh man! If you get a chance. Gummo's the movie. If I'm interested in the girl, that's the first movie I watch with. Him. That's the one you're. Gonna that's throw. the one because that's going to put him through the gauntlet of like, am I too gnarly for you? <laughs> that's, that's it. The that's, first. If you can get through the first the two scenes of Gummo, you are an animal. All you right. are an absolute savage <laughs> individual. 
and I want to watch it with you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the other movie we're watching is Snow on the Bluff, and maybe watch oh, it before we get to the end of this when we that, talk about uh, it. Movie needed, like screen titles or subtitles. 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 It couldn't... had them, sir. Netflix is great. I didn't get those. I put them on. Yeah, you didn't turn them on. No. <laughs> I didn't understand half the movie. Molly said you don't turn her on either. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Burn. No subtitles were an option. It would have. It, it is. Movie. It is on your Netflix thing. Yeah. We watch a lot of British no. movies, and sometimes the Scottish know. accent you need subtitles. So always check. Always. No. Well, I would a ghetto uh, of Atlanta accent you need that's, if you're white. I'm I don't so know. glad you don't. You, guys, you don't. You, get got, you got through it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you guys got yeah. through it. We Jeff did not, and that's fine. Nope. And Jeff did okay. not I, I made it through about halfway and I said, fuck this. I'm impressed. You right, well, we should save this for the review. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. wait sorry. to talk to <laughs> you. Right. Okay, sorry. okay. Stop talking about sorry. it. Sorry. What else do we Molly's, have? Molly's raining us in. Fun. <laughs> what about the, uh, your phones are now listening to you and I got paid for my phone ads. to do that for a while. Big brother again. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing with like Alexa and all those shit, aren't they? They said it wasn't happening, but then Facebook did just get busted because Facebook listens to you when you have it open on your computer. That's what, a what bunch they're of saying. Cunts. Like, I don't know. You guys should delete it. I don't know get, what else I got to tell you, you people. Get ads targeted <laughs> to you on Facebook. Yeah, they listen to what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, you what's, what's the problem? That. They say I need um, to buy a boat from Fleet Farm, and when, all of a sudden, Fleet Farm ads has for like boats. boats. Yeah, when my buddy, what a convenience. Le- when my buddies leave their phones open to Facebook and they don't have pass keys on their other thing i'll start looking up random shit <laughs> so oh. then like at random ads remember when you could turn screens like different colors on people and like change language there's some mean stuff we used to do oh yeah, yeah. their phones open i used to I love didn't. changing like people's names your tv's been listening to you for years like samsung That's writes it on it my dad says it. this He's is nothing new yeah your dad's a big but you know. those people are right like the people I that are like, that's like oh, they're, speak, they're speaking to me through electrical outlets. Turns out they are. Like everything, all these crazy people ever said. Were nah. But they're just oh, trying to oh, sell you like, shit. They're not like trying to ferret out who. Yo, well, they're trying to make money. Who's illegally downloading movies or something? You don't know that. I'm buying. Yeah, you don't. It's so bad. It's so. I don't know. Because I have an I have an app for filling out surveys on my phone. And I get paid for it. And one of them was, hey, you want us to let our your phone listen to everything you watch. And then we'll use that like a Nielsen box. So my I got paid a dollar a week to do that. Just have my phone out while I'm watching Dude. TV. Did you start watching porn? <laughs> no. How much do you exploit you yourself? For? I actually, uh, I may uh, know someone who can get bootleg DVDs, and I stopped watching those because <laughs> I didn't want to get that guy in trouble. <laughs> Uh, I, I never met I someone start... that actually took the surveys before. You're like in an yeah. I made uh, last year. I made about sixty bucks by the by Christmas. <laughs> so you. You gave all of your freedom up of like my, everything my, around you. And every you other gave, day, my phone will go, "Hey, buzz, buzz, buzz." You gave all your information dollar, on surveys dollar. and things you love and your personal, <laughs> like intimate feelings for yep. sixty dollars. Dollar bill, We y'all. need to hang out, man. I got <laughs> shit we could do. Dollar bill, y'all. Oh my god, they're listening to you have sex. All of and them. I'm making money. <laughs> Everybody wins. Oh that, man, yeah. <laughs> there's a quality of that. Uh, it is consensual. When I, I do it, <laughs> just I agree. Not, it's wrong. Just a whore it's wrong mark. if you don't know about it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, so I got a van. I RV'd it out, and like that's the fallout plan. It's got solar and tanks and stuff. You know? Going off the grid. I'm close. I'm real close. I'm real close. How do you get off the grid with a van? You just park it wherever you want and live in it. Stop paying well, I mean, taxes. Like, stop doing energy anything. wise. How do you get solar power? I have solar, solar? on top. Yep, and it takes it to. Uh, I have what's called a house battery box, and then it goes through a, an inverter, and I can charge things and cook. Still got to give hand jobs for gas money, but you know. yeah, do you have like a That's small price, a gasoline it. generator, a small price to too? pay? Yeah, I have a little a generator ring-ling. with it, but yeah. uh, just in case. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I usually stay at my friends' places more than anything, so like they're always really cool with like a run extension cord and stuff. But yeah, I have like a little space heater and everything, and it's diesel, so it goes. Where do you uh, dump your uh, toiletries? Um. And I don't have any shitters way. full. Yeah, no, I uh, <laughs> see here it's sloshing around as the thing's driving. Yeah, no, I stay in uh, truck stops. Mike is everybody's possible. cousin Eddie. Pretty much, <laughs> shitters full. I'm throwing, just throwing shit. <laughs> Pretty much. If you want me to hang out, call me. What it's kind of gas I'll wheel up. does it get? Uh, it's diesel. It's a seven oh. point. Let me. You want to talk diesel engines, Miss? No. Like, <laughs> let me tell you about the seven point three liter Power Jesus Stroke Christ. diesel. Something open there. No, I got. I'm a nerd on this specific diesel engine that. International Harvester made, and I have four vehicles with it. In yeah, it. that's all you looked for was excur- excursions Dude, with a years, diesel. Years, years looking for these engines and these vehicles, and I got them. And now I'm trying to sell them. I'm trying to buy this big ramp, but so I'm trying to make this money and like sell everything. And 
every year I feel like I'm trying to like fold over my company and take like another horrible like gamble to try to successfully come out. This See, might be what the I one was going to ask me. you was, I, I think you're a fan favorite because I don't want to like say something bad or whatever, but no, dude, your fuck size. It. Yeah. Like, if you see a guy huh, what you on a bicycle yeah. doing a backflip who's 350 pounds... You yeah. Sh- you should see him practice that's, that. You're gonna awesome. watch. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking cool. No, like, I mean... So I think that's, like... You remember, like, when we were kids, I just uh, rode bikes and everyone that talked yeah. shit, I just ignored and I never understood it. And now that I'm, you know, grown up with all the cool anxieties that come with it, I'm super self, like, <laughs> <laughs> self-conscious of it, but uh, I've lived my yeah, whole but life just when you see, not... uh, like... A guy your size twirling bikes and flipping yeah. and shit. That's and doing it well. Everybody and doing it well. Yeah. Everybody's like, "Well, that's cooler than the smaller guy that did it." Yeah, I, I mean, I've I've almost pretty much <laughs> about being remembered. I've almost yeah. stopped riding in front of people. Like I've pretty much, I have zero ego. I don't really share a lot of like the riding and like my passions. Okay. I just do it for me. Like if you guys want to come ride and watch, we'll, like I got bikes for you. I got ramps. We can go have a good time. Like I don't film. I don't put anything out there anymore. I don't. But no, I just, no. for that reason, like I just love riding my bike. I love. Falling, I love crashing, I love pulling stuff, I love progressing. I like it's so much fulfillment for me on that end of it that like it never gets into my head. Like, yo, you look like a dilly bar riding a bike, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, that's right, I do look stupid, but it's so much fun. So uh, whatever. So like, I got a Harley and I got the smallest one I could because like I'm used to small you motorcycles. And, like, well, I'm you know what? Not, a- and- not only that, if you say you have that passion, that that comes out. Yeah. Yeah. When you watch somebody who's that passionate yeah. about it, so I appreciate. It. But no, I mean, I definitely, I get, I, I get that a lot. Of, like. I had some guy last week, I, I was wearing like division bike stunt shirts and I'm driving a bike and some guy's like, when's the last time you rode a bike, dude? I'm like, I ride my bike every day, man. And it, and I'm like, is it, is it weird being persecuted? Like to persecute someone? Cause I, like, I want to know what that feels like to just instantly judge somebody. When's like, the last time you fucked your sister? Well, this, I mean, I hate it. Like, well, well, this morning, if you must, right, know. If you must know. It's like, I love talking shit, but like, I don't, I've really said some horrible things to some people. So I'm trying to like go back on like, fuck that. Like, I'm not, I know, but it's only funny when. There's others around. You can't just ruin people in private. <laughs> yeah, I, I I totally disagree with you. You Dude. absolutely can ruin someone right when it's just you two. I I <laughs> so my favorite thing is calling customer service lines. I don't know if you guys know. Like I do it all the time. If there is a reason to call customer service, I will do it. And if I'm alone, because those people are paid to listen to you, bitch. And if you can think of creative ways and things that like to make them, as long as you don't swear at them or threaten them, they can't hang up on you. Yep. So it's fair game. The things you can say and do and like. I've had people admit like their product's garbage and that they're only doing this for a paycheck and that my side is, and I'm like, these conversations are being recorded. How do I get these conversations? <laughs> oh man, people like you. Yeah. I worked customer service yeah. for like years. Yeah, I'm that dude. But that's what I do. That's what I do on my time. Customer service is my time. Mike know. is like, I got a long drive. I'm going to call customer totally, service and just totally. talk with them. I would love to get someone like you. Yeah. I mean, it would have been entertaining. You either loved me or hated me, and we figured that out in about the first thirty seconds of conversation. <laughs> usually, so <laughs> it's good. But oh, when you talk for a living, you got to keep your skills on lock. And I feel like <laughs> customer service. Yeah, you do. That's that's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, between that and the whole defense lawyer like outlook, I'm really, I am a catch, huh? Mm-hmm. So, so, what are your favorite places to call and talk to? Um. Apple is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I love calling Apple and pretending I'm a Mac genius. Like, I know everything. And they'd be like, no, sir. You're using old. Uh, like, and then it's always something like, did you update? No. No. <laughs> did you? <laughs> no. Did you send me the update? Like, uh, you know, they're really fun to call. Um, And then car, like, I'm an old diesel head. So I'll, I'll call, like, old diesel shops and, like, bring up lies. Like, hey, I put gasoline in the gas tank again. We're in the oil tank. Again. All sorts of, you know, like, oh, I yeah. love it. I'll, anyone. Anyone, especially ones that, that like deserve to get it, are my favorite. Like, and, like the electric company, when I can get some money back on them, like <laughs> I get names. I'm like, I want send me a picture of the highlighted receipt. Like, I go crazy so, for it. But. So Tom hates calling and talking to people. Oh. he should just have you. Call yeah, I look. I would look forward to, to it. Pretend Dude, to be Tom. This is Molly's RIT chick. So this is ninety percent of our phone calls. Ring. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Molly, the, fix it. Yeah. The fuck, fix it. Why is it broke? I used to have this roommate who, who now work, who works in Cupertino, and he's just brilliant, just sm- the smartest human I ever met. And he was my Molly, and I'd go to him like I need help, and he would just, did you Google it? What? <laughs> everything. He's like Mike. Everything I learned, I learned on Google. Like, so if you ever have a question for me, go on Google. And I'll, 
then I like, like yeah, but I can go to you. Right, but like <laughs> they're busy. Like I Molly's do. busy. Molly's got shit to do. Like she's in this position because she made but, moves. But I to go there. to Molly. But, right. does, my... but does she? Really? But, but if you're lucky, Molly's nice because my friend, my friend Cookie isn't that nice. He'll fucking put you right in the place you need to be. Right, <laughs> no, that's what I do. So. So and then the next thing is like, all right, I can't get this to work. Did you Google it? Yes, it still doesn't work. And then the second comment, they'd he'd look at me and say, well, 90% of the time it's user error. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And then he just bit it. Yep, you're the issue. Like, oh, every time, man. God like, damn it. That's it. So I just know, just Google it outside. and then know that it's your fault even if you do. So. Yeah, that's what Molly <laughs> does. She grabs my phone and just presses it off and turns it back on and then my phone's good What'd again. What'd you do? I yeah. rebooted it. I find, I find YouTube's very, very handy yeah. for that shit too. Yeah. 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 You can so, do anything. Oh, you don't know how to put a water pump in? Cool. <laughs> I am building YouTube. this house with YouTube. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never knew how YouTube. to lay a flooring. Uh, YouTube. You can learn how to do anything on YouTube now. It's ridiculous. You don't even need college. You really don't. <laughs> I don't. don't know how to do something. No, software you don't. Okay. Listen to that, kids. You don't need college. Just Worst YouTube. thing I did was paid for college. What a dumb four year waste of my life. That's why I didn't go. Oh, yeah. I went to college parties, but I didn't go to college. You, you, well, you saw the best <laughs> part. college girls. Does that count? Again, yeah. the best part. Again, the best part of college is the parties. Been thrown out of college bars shit <laughs> i dropped out three times myself thank you very kindly <laughs> i've been to jeff's college parties <laughs> no there was some college people there that were at my party you so had it was toga a, parties dude that doesn't mean that half the people <laughs> were in college there's nothing gonna... to do with college it, had nothing <laughs> to do with college. it was just toga parties it was in jackson jackson doesn't have a college <laughs> You know at my parents' house. The, the Jackson Frat House? The, it was the Jackson Frat House. <laughs> Two blocks from the police station. It's Where's fine. the college? We're working on it. <laughs> it's it's actually a school. A toga party at Jeff's house. <laughs> where only Jeff and I dressed up in togas. <laughs> Those guys are like, where's yeah. all the no, no one, They're like, it's cold out. I was like, you pussies. <laughs> you pussies. So me and Jeff are like in toga. Sheets. Oh, <laughs> no one else showed up. <laughs> Everybody showed up in regular clothes. And I'm like, fuck. You should have All been right. collecting the clothes at the door and handing uh, out bed you sheets. You know what? Yeah. 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 Oh. We weren't thinking that far ahead. We were just glad that we were in togas and we knew how to tie them up properly. Hey, we're having a toga party. <laughs> we couldn't we YouTube it because that was before YouTube. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How did you live? Uh, How did you, what did you do? Only us. Oh, I think the internet was dial up at that time. Man. It was AOL. All right. What do we got here? We got. uh. What is this, Mark? <laughs> well, I found Mark a Mark. list of the oh. most expensive. Uh, that one you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. Most, most expensive, expensive toys from your childhood. Toys. Are you serious? Christ. Yeah. I, yeah. I had a great go fucking childhood. You gotta go. And yeah. I had a lot of toys. Oh, wait. You did. What do I gotta do? Because I found it. It's not on the oh. website Tom likes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not on Pornhub. He's used to, he, yeah. He <laughs> likes to scroll down and have a never ending uh, <laughs> videos pop up. Okay, uh, Garbage Pail Kids cards, $1,000 oh, and up. Are Do you, you guys serious? have any of those? Yeah, I had tons of them. I must, had. Must have been before my time. I'd never Garbage heard of them until kids? a couple years oh, ago. There was a movie, too. If your, parents yeah, cared, some of them were. if your parents cared, they wouldn't let you get them. <laughs> right. It was like all these kids like deformed and dead. It was like the the first dead baby yeah, joke that happened horrible, in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. And they, they were, were stickers, nasty. which made them even better. So it was trading cards. And if you liked the kid with the outside, inside out skin, you could put yeah. them on your bike. And then, yeah, you didn't miss it. Your parents... Love yeah, you. Love sucking. Yeah. <laughs> Mine. A thousand dollars a piece, though, for a scratch and sniff. Well, if they're stickers, the, all the cool ones are probably destroyed yeah. because yeah. kids want to put them on their yep. If If you saw them now as an folders. adult, you'd look at them and be like, I can't believe they released these and these are the coolest things. Did you look? Seen. Did you ever look at Did you Google I've it? seen them since oh, okay. then. Like, yeah. there's, there's going to be a Tommy and then, like, it'll be something like really audacious yeah. and hilarious. And, there was yeah. a movie about them, too, which is awesome. There's a movie. I've seen clips from it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the practical effects. <laughs> right. But, uh, okay. What else you got on there? Um, 1978 Luke Skywalker action figure is $25,000. In the box or out of the box? In the box. Yeah, boring. Have you guys seen there's <laughs> a... <laughs> Come on, man. You can have a toy and not play with it and then dangle it in front of me for money? You gotta buy two. You have one to open and one to save. But there was a documentary Explain on your Netflix. mom in 78. Mom, this is gonna be worth... This is That's what my brother did in the 90s with all of his Star Trek action figures. Ah. Mom, so... this is an investment. This isn't a toy. <laughs> I'm saving for my future. Yo, mom, Jeff's playing with his dolls again. <laughs> action figures. They're action figures. They're dolls, Jeff. Jeff, uh, you always had the most dolls that I know of. Jeff had the they most were action toys figures. Always. They were GI yep. Joes, and they you were action. Had Ninja Turtles and, and Ninja Turtles. Were they the full size no. GI Joe Barbie doll? No, they were the little guys. <laughs> I have those. My mom collects. Which, by the way, Netflix has a whole like four. Yeah, right the now, toys that made the us. Toys yeah. that made us. What? It's actually pretty. It is. Yeah, yeah. and they talk about Star Wars too. 
Instead of watching Learn your, something. Instead uh, of watching what's that movie you want everybody to watch? Gummo. G U M M O. Instead of watching Please Gummo. Look it up immediately. Instead of watching and... Gummo, watch the toys that made us. You, oh. You'll actually probably be a better person. These people are not gonna be psyched <laughs> when they watch this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here is the Peanut Royal Blue Elephant Beanie Baby. I never $5. understood Blue the Beanie, Beanie Baby babies? thing. Never. Molly made a ton of money on Beanie Babies. How? I bought an N64 and, like, two games by selling one Beanie Baby on eBay. Really? Which Beanie Baby was it? I don't remember. It was just, it was a discontinued one. I think it was, like, a white seal. I don't remember what its name was. What kind of fucking meth huffers buy fucking because Beanie Baby? Because at the yep. time, they were they were discontinuing them. Okay. Um, And whichever ones they discontinued. I probably pissed off some of you. Then people, people were so nuts trying that. to get them. Like, Well, I wanted to make a, a seal clubbing joke, sorry but to... I couldn't put it together <laughs> fast <laughs> enough. Sorry. <laughs> Hallmark store, you had to get there the day the shipment came in or they were gone. It was nuts yeah. at the time. My mom yeah. got us Beanie Babies for, we would get Beanie Babies for Easter in our Easter baskets. We got Beanie Babies for, you know, Christmas. We, you know. We used to have a day every Monday was Beanie Baby Day uh, between five and seven at McDonald's when I yeah. worked there. I remember you working oh, at McDonald's. I, I know people My would mom? like go through the drive through like five times, whatever, just yep. to get Beanie Babies. Just to get Beanie Babies. My so mom then had... it was the tradable night when you were there between five and seven. You could trade which ones oh. you didn't have. With we had other chicken people. nuggets in the freezer during with the teeny beanie because you could get chicken nugget happy meals to get the teeny beanie babies and the chicken nuggets where you could freeze them and reheat them later and. What yeah. a fucking nerd. This I was is never the shit I fuck. Dude. <laughs> no, this was my mom. No. I was let's no. let's, re- let's re- hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang you guys on. do it in a bed of beanie babies? Hang on. <laughs> Shut Shut up. Up. Hang on. Let me, let me, snow angel and beanie babies let me, before I let me rephrase this. Let me rephrase this for you. Style. This is the chick Over that lets you fuck her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> The, the, the legend the legend has knowledge. Right. Listen to this the is legend. the girl that lets you Listen fuck her. Oh, okay. This isn't the one that you're like, oh, she's passed out. <laughs> she's passed out. Oh, you are going to hear about Beanie Baby comment, that comment for yeah, just right. weeks oh, now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hard to be in So what, what else is on after Beanie Babies now? Remember that... Pound Puppies? Remember those? That was before Beanie Babies, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was like, was they just those. like, they'd like birth other babies. Again, like our childhoods were yeah. tight, man. There yeah. was some really sick yeah. shit yeah. out there. Pound Puppies were good. That's where I'm at. I'm well, pan- um, Cabbage Patch Kids oh. that ate people's hair. Jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah what was wrong That's with a... toy people back then? <laughs> We got uh, Pez dispensers. Okay. Yeah, that's where. Uh, meh. meh. I love Pez. Pez is tight. Pez is good. Original Monopoly game is worth $146,500. Wasn't that like. Uh, wow. Mom, didn't Monopoly come out in like. It came out in like the middle of the. Yeah. Yeah. It came out in like the middle of the Great Depression. But. No, oh, here, buy this game. You fuckers are poor. <laughs> it's about collecting yeah, money. It's about collecting money. <laughs> it's about hey. buying property. Hey, you suckers. can really learn a lot. How many of those can actually still be around in decent condition and have all of the pieces? I'm going to say why. six. Just throwing a fucking well, number I mean, out there. Six. There you go. It's prob- well, yeah, you can probably count them on your two hands. <laughs> what yeah. piece gets lost the most? Thimble? Horse? Car? Probably the car. The, car. the shoe? The car is the type. best one. I always was the car. Was, was the car like, an original piece? Uh... I don't know. That's a good question. I always took the dog. They changed. They changed. They started changing up the of pieces. Of course, because your name's Molly. You would, of, of course, take the dog. <laughs> Ooh, someone's Ooh. not having sex Why tonight. You? Someone's is not he not letting him Damn fuck it. her. Oh, oh, Jeff, this one you guys got here. Uh, Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. Terry Terry still has them, I think, for like collectibles. We used to build tracks in my house all the time. Yeah, like, those like, awesome. I had a giant bin just full of loose ones. I yeah. didn't, nope. didn't take care of them. They're all beat nope. to crap, paint one chipping you off. Got, you fucking rich you have, kid. Uh, my, action comics. Yeah, my parents just bought me shit so I wouldn't bother them. It worked. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> my dad's they like, bought you action comics number one. <laughs> action comics number one yeah, is Superman, worth right? $3.2 million. That dollars. Superman? Yeah. 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 What I don't, are we doing I don't, here? Let's go I get it. I don't have that one, but... I have the amazing Peter Parker, uh, 14 through 32. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Masters of the Universe. Oh, fucking 80s again. Yeah, buddy. He-Man was the shit. That's a thousand dollars, dude. You may want to go. I remember going to like Rummagerama and just seeing bins of random like He-Man body parts. Did you ever change their, like, like I always change their arms. Yeah. You got the one He-Man with like two green arms. Lobster hands. One's got a lobster (laughs) hand. Yeah. 
He's not supposed to have those. I have a ton of those. Just sell them. If anyone wants. He have a Castle Grayskull. Could be a. Oh, Terry and I had the swords that you could put. We had all that shit. We had all the Ghostbuster stuff, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, from the, the yeah, like the again, proton pack. And again, stuff? our parents showered us with material things because they just didn't. They loved us, I guess. If I'm gonna look at it that way, <laughs> but they didn't want to spend box. time with that you. Piss, oh yeah, me you're still pissed off about the I'm sandbox. I'm still pissed off that you guys got a sandbox, and my dad said he would give me one, but never did. <laughs> it's well, never too it. late, Tom. We can get you a sandbox. But Foz ain't gonna build him one. He's gonna tell him to go play with mine. Then fucking do it. I just don't. I could I want a sandbox. <laughs> could you picture Jeff's dad out there shuffling with his like porn stash? And no. <laughs> Jerry curl like fucking goddamn kid. What's fucking sandbox? I'll give him one sandbox. Like, I couldn't see your dad doing it. Like, I'll give him one sandbox. I'll give him a goddamn sandbox. Like, shit ass. <laughs> like yeah. Like oh, all right. As long as he shuts up. Here's a He Man warrior. Is he done and, with hockey uh, yet? Damn yeah, sandbox. Pretty much. Yeah, that's how it. That's how it went over by. That's why I hung out by you. I did too. That was good. Fisher yeah. Price push cart Pete. Oh, that looks like one of the old like tin you toys. See? Yeah, that's old. Yeah, that wasn't my childhood. No. <laughs> I can no, understand why was... toys that old are valuable. Yeah. Because that's like a hundred years old. Three yeah. thousand like, dollars? Oh my cat. god, there's a cat here? Did there you was a cat here. There was some sort of <laughs> cheetah that just ran across the floor. He's probably starving to death. He just went for the food Yo, downstairs. You guys got some serious rats in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Massive, dude. American Girl Molly Doll, five thousand dollars. I have the miniature of that. My mom yeah, has. You had a Molly doll. Yeah. Susan had a pair of the glasses no. and stuff, and she sold them to fund our trip to Italy a couple years ago. Really? The the American doll. The trip where I proposed. Sounds... Good. <laughs> really Way to go, sense. dude! Why do you fuck it up for all regular guys? You got to. Rep- I didn't have a ring. Well, you proposed <laughs> in Italy, it like a underneath question. a waterfall. That's. Romantic, dude. I, I did it in Other the hotel room. Say, yeah. What am I supposed to do now? Not marry Fag. my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. fucked it up, man. I can't. So, so I'm the reason you're not gonna get married. Yeah, thank, thank you. I, what am I gonna do? Uh, propose at Arby's? It was <laughs> awkward for Molly when I proposed to Susan in Italy. Okay, Molly was there too. She was. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Right. I had no complaints. No. I'm Powerful. Say so that's, that's a move to make. No, right you there. can't do a fucking sweet ass, fabulous. Susan wanted to do the trip. She planned it. So we go on it. And I decided to strike while the iron was hot. I didn't plan <laughs> it. I didn't say, let's go so I can propose. I figured this is the perfect time to do it. You're just standing there going, fuck it. Might as well. Well, I even I talked to a, a f- lady friend of mine who I wanted her opinion on. I can afford to go with and propose without a ring, or I cannot go and propose in America with a ring. And she said, go without a ring. Yep. So. You could have made one or yeah. got one of those one out of the fucking gumball machines. If she won't yeah. say yes to Great Lakes Dragway, is she really worth marrying anyway? <laughs> <laughs> that was saying, plan B. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, girl, if we can't watch eight, mi- eight, eight second quarter miles for the rest of our lives, do you really want to spend it with me? Like, <laughs> come on, dude. Yeah. Well, well, Susan, it's more of a let's have an Evil Dead marathon, wow. and then I want to propose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gr- well, you me, guys may like want to check your book thing, Molly. Uh, first edition of Where the Wild Things Are is $25,000. I know my Woo. mom has that book. I don't know what edition. Damn. Damn. My buddy directed that movie. You guys ever know? No. no? no. Uh, Spike Lee? Yeah. He wrote, Spike Lee was a BMXer. There's a whole sticker campaign that says that. <laughs> but literally, it says Spike Lee, comma, was a BMXer. Because, yeah, I don't know. That's the story. <laughs> the end. First edition Barbie is $23,000. Do you, if you watch. Oh, she looks. Yeah, go ahead. Like, yep. Tell the story. Yeah. Uh, if you watch how the toys that made us are on Netflix. It tells you how Barbie is actually based off of like a, a French hooker, a French hooker, an expensive French hooker. Yeah, because <laughs> I guess during the time period, if a guy wanted to get some, he'd give a girl like some flowers and this doll, and that that was the wink, wink. Yeah, that was the wink, wink, <laughs> nod, nod. I have this doll. I want a cop. I have this doll. Show me where you want me to touch you. Like what is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Uh, I <laughs> hear this. <laughs> Here, uh-huh, here, uh-uh, here, uh-uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, here, uh-uh, all right. Oh, it's a little brown, but I'll lick it anyway. <laughs> they didn't have a lot of time back in the old days. They had to be blunt. Like, you know, nah. I want to do it here. Cool? Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. We got to... <laughs> oh, first edition Barbie, 23000 Jeff, you probably got one of those. No. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, vintage Atari cartridges? Yes. 
I might have some of those. 2,600, baby. Yeah, we had an Atari, but it broke years ago. My mom's a hoarder, and I know we have all the stuff in my basement. All uh, of it. Literally all of it. And she has one of the largest American Girl doll collections I've ever seen in my existence. There's a hundred eBay. Not that I know a lot about American Recovered doll, cartridges uh, totaled $107,000. You may want to check out what your mom's got in her basement. You, you might know. have $15,000 for your ramp. Man. Ah. Perfect. Well, she's got 500 copies of E.T., Oh, okay. that's, a, that's a good documentary, too. That's a really good documentary. Yeah. Smart. Uh, original Smart. Furby is $900. I hate I those I don't know how many of those things, things were creepy. smashed. <laughs> that's why they're so vile, because you broke them all. Molly, you had a little violent childhood, huh? You really <laughs> got out there. Those things were annoying as hell. It just yeah. wanted to love you. It was like my younger brother and sister that had them, and they would never shut up. And... That's because you put, like, two of them in a room, and they'll just sit there and talk for hours. Ugh, like women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Molly had one of those keychains you had to feed and would let it starve. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, girl. Yeah, yeah she did. Got it. But I killed it. Yeah, of course lot. you did. Yeah. You're cynical. I like that about yeah. you. No way. This can't be true. Uh, if it's in working shape, I bet. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo Game Boy is 750. The original fatty. Oh. oh, yeah. The thick one. The real yeah. thick one. My yeah. brother had one of those. I think I still have one of those. Oh. There you go. Go to Media Exchange, girl. Get that money. You're going to Italy <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get proposed. Huh? Is it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> or we could play Tetris, you know. <laughs> I vote Original for Tetris. Transformers action figures. Oh, those are sick. Oh, the, the Optimus, big ones. The Optimus the, and the, Optimus the Megatron. Prime, yeah. yeah, Optimus Prime. The, the full trailer. Yeah. Yeah. How much I'd whiskey never. do I have to drink to sound like that guy? Because I'll give it a shot. Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sound like him, man. He's, that's the best this voice ever. upwards of $2,000. Yeah. In yeah I'll probably though. see some of those tomorrow. I'm going to be at the comic book convention in nice. Chicago tomorrow. Nice. Okay. So I, I've seen some of those for sale. If you want one, Tom, you can slip me two grand. I'll get you one. I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> it sounds good on paper. But... I have a vintage BMX bike collection. That first edition Oof. Harry Potter and the Oof. Sorcerer's Stone is $6,500. That's it? I believe it. I bet you the first run was really small. Um, published but, um, in 1998, the first editions of the U.S. version. Of well, who, who knew that was going to become huge? Sold for sixty five hundred. Anyone yeah. that read it, <laughs> score one. For I never read Gryffindor. it. I never read it either. I was one of those in line at Walmart at midnight for the. So release. you were one of the cool kids. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I made my dad drive with your me Tamagotchi to Walmart. and your Beanie Babies. <laughs> dad drive yep. me to Walmart. While you're kicking your sister's fifteen thousand dollar Furby to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you first hear about Harry Potter, Molly? Like who? Where did you learn about it from? I don't even remember. I didn't hear about it till like the fourth. Movie. I read it from the first, yeah. From the until first I heard book. there was a movie coming out. That's pretty much when I learned about it. Yeah, I read it from the first book, but it was I don't remember how I. Right. Yeah, I don't read or math. <laughs> you look like a reader, Jeff. <laughs> I've read some books <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, and I've listened to some books. There it is. Hey, on audible.com. Audible. Audible. Com. We got that on our website. <laughs> plugging that one nice away. Audible.com slash Unipodcast. Get your free trial. Yes. 30 days free yeah, and one free listen audiobook listen book. that is yours to keep. Ooh. Forever. Organic marketing. Forever. <laughs> nice, boys. What? Nice. Like Fuck. Great site. Dude, Mario Kart 64 is $750. I wonder how much the what gold. Website I bet you if you have the box. I wonder how much the GoldenEye game is going for. With the original box and That's cheap. Uh, that's cheap as shit. Yeah, that game cheap, made me throw up shit, at yeah. your house. <laughs> I was drunk and thought of playing Goldeneye and was oh, a good idea. Yeah. That was stupid. I think we both puked trying to play that game that night. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. was a rough night. Really, I remember it's a good party. laying on my buddy Alex's chest and going, give me a gun. <laughs> oh. And he's like, I'm not giving you a gun. But I wanted to play Goldeneye, and then the gun was on the screen. Ah. Yeah. So he just give me a gun. Hook a guy up. <laughs> just, just, just do fucking it. Just give do me it. a gun. Hook a guy up. Hook okay. a guy up. Yeah. I didn't need a gun. What else you got on there? Anything else fun? Or is it... Uh, cabbage Pat. First dildo. Oh, boy. Whatever. Molly's first dildo. <laughs> Still stinks. Jesus. <laughs> oh, there we go. 
that point, girl. Uh, Masters of the Universe Eterna playset, nineteen hundred dollars. Is that the the one with the castle that you could like speak into and you there get? It is. It's got the yeah, like a cat one. face castle, not Castle Grayskull, but Eternia. Oh, that's. How do you know the difference between castles? I know what Castle Grayskull looks like. That ain't Castle yeah, it's Grayskull. Yeah, green skull. Yeah. Yeah. And He Man does not fit in the door. No, I didn't have that one. Learned that watching the toys that made us on Netflix. Uh, see, you learn <laughs> shit. Thanks, Netflix. We are educated. Teddy Ruxpin is five hundred. Teddy bucks. fucking Ruxpin is five hundred bucks. If it works, did any of those work? You ever just throw regular tapes into Teddy Ruxpin? <laughs> not, not the ones like, like, like a mega death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy Ruxpin is just singing fucking it. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Teddy Ruxpin now singing too short. Are you ready? Like, yeah. I threw a Marky Mark in the Funky Bunch in a, te- in a Teddy Ruxpin. It was good. Good vibrations. <laughs> Jurassic Park action figures are worth money. Really? Oh, those don't even look. That can't be one that's worth anything. It's... That looks like some crappy that repaint. Looks crappy. No, that's it's how they look, orange. though. That's uh, that's how they it's look. It's orange and blue. And you black. weren't there when they were dinosaurs. Maybe they were orange and blue. But I watched the movie. Science yeah. has proven they were, in fact, neon orange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to say? Science is wrong? Science? Skeletor. Science. No. Love Skeletor. $1,650. I have a lot of friends that look like Skeletor. <laughs> Do you? No? I got one over here. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I'm getting paunchy. Uh-huh. No, I'm saying you're bald. Well, yeah. It was a bald joke. <laughs> Bald joke. And it failed. Wait for where, where it, it. Wait for it. There, there we go. go. <laughs> there you go. F4. 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 All right, F4. F4. Hey. Okay, I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> fucked Just it big. Erased the entire podcast right. already. Just... Oh, oh, Pokemon cards. Fuck that hey. shit. Oh, man. All the cool kids are playing Magic the Gathering. Hey. Don't judge. I'm totally judging Pokemon. Did you make more money on Pokemon cards there, Mo? I'm I'm judging. Yeah, this face. Judging. Yeah, okay. How much did you get for your Charmander? <laughs> Mom, I don't know. She's not I talking. actually might pay this much for it. A light bright. It's a good one of those. 130 to 350 dollars. Alright. Well that's from like the, the original one is, is in the sixties. Mm-hmm. Easy bake oven on there? This list is like a hundred things long. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, we're, we're not going to the whole We list, can cut we? off whenever. Uh, Ninja Turtle fan? You know you oh, can... I heard about those. It's the ones with the uh, the squishable heads are crazy Hypothetically, expensive. Hypothetically, you can make special brownies in an easy bake oven. Just saying. I want to see the list of rare items. <laughs> so that Could you make things. edibles in a creepy crawler's oven? Oh, I think yeah. so. Same thing. Oh, same, yeah. same concept. Creepy, creepy crawler. Terry and I had that. That was good shit. Yeah. I had a friend who we will remain nameless, but his two-year-old top. found his edibles. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Kid's fine, but uh, yeah. Kid's fine. <laughs> Kid was super mellow for like the whole An night. <laughs> so he, he ate a lot of edibles. Oh. They were worried. What are these uh, <laughs> gem and the hologram styles? Oh, Fuck Jesus off. Christ. <laughs> What are we killing this list? How far are we? Yeah, how, yeah, what do we got here? Where what number are you? Tommy's in? involved. He loves this. We list. can finish it later. Okay, let's Tom's gonna yeah. She ra yeah. and your princess power horse set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's, let's wrap it up. Uh Universe, uh check out our contest we got going on. Uh to be our coolest fan. I uh entered that by the way. Micah, we got this. <laughs> It's now when you hand. win, people are going to think it was that's, rigged. That's oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> that's really cool. That is literally cool. Literally chilling. <laughs> yeah. You be chilling. Uh, go to our website. Uh, check out Amazon.com. Use that link when you do all your shopping and you can support the show without having to spend an extra dime. We get, yeah. what, 10, 10%? 10% of everything yeah. you buy. Everything and you it buy. costs the same to you. So you're not, on any, you're not out anything. Yeah. So, if you want to listen to a book, then Amazon what would page, you yeah. want to do? Just sticking it to the man. <laughs> Mark. I don't know if that is. Ah, sorry. I was talking to Jeff. <laughs> this if is you now the man. listen to a book, <laughs> what's a good way to do it? Why, you could do that on Audible, sir. Audible.com. It's right on our website. You can click on it. You can go to audibletrial uh, slash unipodcast.com. Ooh, how long is that free trial? <laughs> it's a month at least. A whole month. Wow. So you get that. Make sure you pick it on one of those longer months. <laughs> None of this February None of this bullshit. February bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right, and Since... we want to thank Micah. We're gonna get more into you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are. And then we're gonna interview you. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> wait, are we? Can we talk about this movie? Or is this? We will. We can. Like, yeah. We'll do the movie right after cool. this. Oh, I we'll can't wait right to right talk now. about. Stay. Listen to the second part about this movie. It's yep. gonna be worth your time. <laughs> we're gonna do it. People All are right. gonna be so bummed. <laughs> so, Micah Kranz, thank you very much. It's hard to find you online, but we got you. Owner, operator, division bikes, and yeah, just chilling. Philanth- yeah. Full on rapist. Hit up Jeff. Jeff knows how to get out, get hold of me if you need me. Yeah? yeah, talk to the legend. He knows. Yep, the local legend. So the I legend do stuff. <laughs> can we find us, Mark? You can. Oh, uh, hey, I got my reads. The one you we are Tom over. and Mark and Jeff off the rails. Our website is theunipodcast.com. We are on Twitter at Unipodcast. Uh, you should go to Facebook and check out facebook.com slash Unipodcast and our Instagram feed. Uh, Tom updates that regularly. Yep. We didn't get to any of them today, but don't forget to ask all your questions at asktomanything414 at gmail.com. We love those questions. This podcast is available on iTunes, YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher, uh, like I said, Instagram for pictures, and all your other favorite podcast hosting websites. See our website for more details. And thank you very much, Micah Krantz and the local legend, Jeff Krieger. Thanks for having me. This was fun. Remember, universe, we're not good enough.